residence. I am Shukrashama from Adashwitya Mandir Shankar Vithyabhi Mountabu. For class 12, continue our topic molecular basis of inheritance. We have discussed already transcription process in prokaryotes. In prokaryotes, transcription is divided into the three phases that is. But in eukaryotes, in the eukaryotes, you can see the two strands of DNA. 5-3- and 3-2-5-. Only 5-3- strand, it acts as a template for messenger RNA synthesis. The transcription is the process of synthesis of messenger RNA from DNA. So in this process, you can see the formation of messenger RNA is takes place, but this formation is in the direction of 5-3- and at the 5 dash end, the capping is the first process. What is capping? Capping is the addition of methyl guanosine triphosphate at the end, 5 dash end. Okay? This is the first process capping. Now, it is divides into the exons and the, these are the introns. These are introns and these are the exons. Exons are the coding strain. Codings coding for the particular amino message and introns are interrupt the exons. So, by the process of RNA splicing, these introns are removed from the messenger RNA strand. This is the messenger RNA strand which is coded by the DNA. And now RNA splicing means the removal of these introns and joining of exons. Joining of exons is also known as splicing. The last process is uh, polyadenylation. Polyadenylation takes place at the 3 dash end. This is the 3 dash end, and in this, the telling process, the adenylic residues, about 200 to 300 residues, are joined at the 3 dash end. Now, this is the messenger RNA which is fully processed as the heterogeneous RNA. At the 5 dash end, it contains the methyl guanosine triphosphate, and 3 dash end adenylic residues are present. And only exome are connected with each other. Okay, so this is the messenger RNA. Now the next process is translation. The first step of translation is formation of messenger RNA. After the formation of messenger RNA, the protein synthesis is occurred. The translation is protein synthesis. So the polymerization of amino acid to form polypeptide is known as translation. Polypeptide is protein. Protein are the polymer of amino acids. So, during this process, all the amino acids are arranged at a particular sequence and they are bonded by the peptide bond and they form a specific protein. And their order and sequence of amino acids are defined by the base sequence which is present inside the messenger RNA. The sequence which is present in this messenger RNA is defined by the particular protein. And amino acids are joined by the peptide bond, and formation of peptide bond uh, requires the energy. So, the first step of the translation is activation of amino acids. Amino acids itself activates with the help of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, in the presence of amino acid transfer RNA synthetase enzyme. Now, uh, these amino acids converts into the amino acid AMP enzyme complex. AMP means addressing monophosphate. So two phosphate molecules are removed from it. The next process is charging of transfer RNA. In this process, amino acid, amino acid AMP enzyme complex, it reacts with a specific transfer RNA. We have already discussed the structure of transfer RNA. Transfer RNA is a global deep line structure and it contains the anticodon which localizes the particular amino acid. So, this amino acid AMP energy complex is connected with the transfer RNA and forms amino acid transfer RNA complex with release of adenosine monophosphate and enzyme. Now, the next stage is initiation of polypeptide change. Initiation of polypeptide chain requires ATP, initiation factor that is IF1, IF2 and IF3 and the starting is the uh, separation of both the subunits of ribosomes. Ribosomes are made up of two subunits, they are the smaller and 
larger subunits so these two subunits are separated in the initiation and with the help of ion 3 and you can see these are the ribosomes okay these are the larger subunit and these are the smaller subunits and between this messenger rna is attached and transfer rna carry the amino acid transfer rna carry a particular amino acid which amino acid it gives to the ribosomal rna ribosomal rna is already present on the ribosomes so first messenger rna is attached between the two subunits of the ribosome and form a poly ribosome and due to messenger rna sequence the transfer rna one by one comes to the ribosomes and gives the message for the amino acid to the ribosomal rna and these amino acids are attached one by one in the form of chain and these ribosomes on these ribosomes the carboxylic group of the carboxylic group of one amino acid the carboxylic group of one amino acid is attached with the amine group of other amino acid and forms a peptide bond forms a peptide bond okay so this chain is elongated with the help of peptidyl transferase enzyme for the synthesis of peptide bond the peptidyl transferase enzyme is responsible between the carboxylic acid and amine group okay and one this is the translocase enzyme translocase enzyme is helpful in the movement of ribosome this is the chain it moves and separate from the ribosome so the translocase enzyme is helpful in the movement of ribosome and gtp provides the energy for this process the last step is the chain termination when any stop order stop order are uaa uag and dg when any one stop order is present in the sequence of messenger rna this is the sequence of messenger rna if any one order this is the stop order or nonsense order or termination order is present then the polypeptide formation is stopped okay and the protein synthesis is complete so this is all about the protein synthesis thank you